Hey everybody, this is Limitless KRGN and we're going to do another interesting video this week, so let's get started. Hey everybody, so this is again Limitless KRGN and this is technically the DXCSM Dark Cobotol Transforming Belt Driver Deluxe Version line from the BGM Dark Zector or Anime Action Figure Model Kid Children's Toys. And that's the literally the title of what this thing is. Now take me this is a third party or a bootleg or KO of the uh CSM version of the Dark Cobalt Belt. And you guys curious where I got this. I got this through AliExpress. I uh purchased this, I saw videos about this, and it looked very interesting, so I wanted to get this and try it out myself. Of course, I'll tell you how much I got it and again where I got it. So let's check out the accessories. Let me put this aside. It came like this in this weird kind of plastic cover. No box or nothing like that. So it shows you all the stuff it comes with. Um, one of them actually has sound effects and if I'm not mistaken, it's that one right here. But this is the side of it. It's just a hollow plastic with a nice actually chrome kind of paint. And then the second one, without me triggering, does come, this one did came with batteries. Ooh. My bad. And it also is a little heavier compared to that one because it does have electronic and it does have the clock up. And we'll test that right now in a bit. This is the back part of the belt. Again, this part is just a hollow plastic. It has a nice paint. But you can, you can I don't know, compared to the, uh, I think it's the, I don't know if, if the other ones, the actual legit one of the CSM ones are more heavier, but you can tell this is lighter. Even the material is a little bit like hollow. It's still plastic. But you can tell the texture is different compared to something that's more legit. And then the scope, it's a little off. I don't know if you guys in my camera can capture that. You can see right there, you can tell this is a mold of that original one. Um, especially the belt. The belt feels very, very hollow. Very, not heavy at all. Uh, I think the actual... I think the actual CSM one has more of a weight to it. Even the DX Vert one, it came out in like 2000, what, six or seven, if I'm mistaken, has a more weight to it. This is very hollow and the material, again, it's like a different kind of material they use. Now, the, the belt itself, it looks nice, but when you actually get a better look at it, it's, it, mine's came already scratched up. Uh, this is more like a, like kind of, I don't know, it feels kind of like a rubbery. Uh, the, some of the paint right here is scratched up with it. That's how way it comes. Uh, I think they all come like that. Maybe you, if you decide get one, it'll be better, better intact. Uh, but you know what? It doesn't really bug me. But this is, like I said, this is just like the actual, ver the actual legit version. <laughs> but it feels not bad. It feels solid. It feels, it feels not bad. So yeah. All right. So the dark hobbitel belt itself the, with the bug. It, it has really nice. Paint works. Um, it does have some weight to it because this part is die cast metal. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That this whole part is die cast metal. Now I don't know if the body or the, or the actual legit one, the the CSM one, is actually the whole body die cast or is the sim similar style only in the certain parts are die cast. I'm not sure. Um, Again, it has that weird kind of like, it, it's plastic, don't get me wrong, all the toys, all the even the, the high collectible ones are plastic. But this has more like a lesser degree kind of texture plastic to it. And you can tell the, some of the paint on this is already like scraping off, that's how it came. As you can see that, right here, right here. And then right here is like a, it's not bad. But yeah, this whole part, it feels uh, like if you drop it, I feel like it will break. But yeah.
right, so the on and off switch is actually right here. I'm assuming that's similar to the the other one. So uh, yeah, let's turn it on. Here we go. And it's that's the first time you hear me. That's one. And that's one. That uh, yeah. So I don't want to get copyright, but that's literally one of the theme songs of the show. And that's another theme song from the show. This is the opening song. Okay, so that's that. Uh, it has a lot of sound effects from the show. And some of them, I, I don't remember them. But yeah. So, <clears throat> this thing is, uh, like I said, it's beautiful. But you can tell it is a third party of copy. And some of the paintwork right here, like it came like this. But the fact that this part is die cast, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know if the actual legit one is die cast. I, 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 like, like, leave a comment below. Tell me if like any of the belt itself is die cast or even or just this part, but yeah. So let's do the transfer, you know, the hinging. All right, here we go. So the side in and. that I think it's the attack so it has the same function like the other belt the whole one two or three rider kick uh, so it also has clock up like the like the DX one um, the clock out, and that's this again. If anyone cares about that, clock over. and it has like a timer on it, I guess. Or and this is clock over, and then you do it again, clock and you guys also turn it off. Clock so yeah, that's it when it comes to this thing. It um, has a lot of functions by the by, by the belt itself when it's actually combined the whole thing. It just has the whole henshin, cast off, and rider kick. Now you can notice. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's it. I'm just turn it off. So that's pretty much it. So uh, again, so let's talk about the good and the bad about this. So. Um, the only negative I could tell you I have about this Isaac belt is that the that it, ha it comes uh, scratch. Just keep that in mind. It comes really pretty scratch, and the paint on this is not bad. Um, but because uh, it doesn't really have a box cover, and because it's a uh, third party or bootleg, uh, when it comes to uh, shipping this thing, they don't really care about it. <laughs> Or it could be just that the material, the paint, is not that strong and it easily can get scratched. Uh, but, like, this thing, from the far, it was beautiful. But when you look really close, it's, it is scratched up pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but that's how it comes. I think that's how it all Maybe you get a lucky one and you get it for, uh, for you know, for at least not that bad scratch as mine. Because mine's 
like the shiny silver. The belt itself is not scratched, just the little gold plate areas right here. But there, but like in the silver, it is noticeable. And but but for the price, uh, it's not you know it's not that doesn't hurt me that much. So um, and the other thing I kind of don't like about it is you know because I again, I know this is technically third party or bootleg or KO. The plastic feels a little cheap, and I feel like if you drop this, it will break. So you're curious to know where I got this and how much I got this. So I got this through AliExpress. Um, like I said, I I start I started seeing people uh, doing reviews of these uh, third party KO versions of this one, and I always wanted the Common Rider Cobble to Black. I, I was digged his you know his his belt style and then his kind of story a little. Even he didn't have a really huge story in the whole series. I just dig his vibe and. And I like the belt. I like the belt that there's a dark Kabuto belt out there. And so I always wanted I always wanted the the CSM version, but it was just so expensive. I think that goes about two, three hundred dollars, the legit one, or even more. Um so I again I got this through AliExpress and I pay about fifty-one dollars and eighty-nine cents and about another uh, about about twenty eight dollars in shipping. So altogether I I uh, come well all together with shipping and taxes and everything. It, I it uh I pay about seventy nine dollars if I'm mistaken, and it took about um sp uh, shipping when it came to shipping it wasn't that bad. Um, it took about two weeks, almost about two weeks going on three, and it was a tracking number so I could keep you know always track on it and when it was gonna come. So I was pretty excited, and um, even if it's not hundred percent accurate. Well, I mean, not 100%. I feel like it is accurate to the to that version, but uh, when it comes to like a clean, like not like scratchy thing, it's not 100%. But out of that, I really do like it. Uh, uh, you get you could tell in some of the parts of that, that it is a, like a copy mold of the original one. But I like it. You know, it's affordable, and it's you want to have something like this in your collection. Uh, you know, so. If you want to get it, definitely get it. Especially if you don't want to break your wallet. Now, if you want to get the, you know, the actual license, legit one, then get that one. Good for you. Good for you, man. <laughs> but I, I, for me, it's like I want it, but I don't want to break my wallet. So I always try to. And I'm always curious about like bootleg versions because sometimes the bootleg versions come with more extra sounds. And this one has not a bad amount of sounds. Again, I don't know if the legit one of the. And the legit one of the CSM one has all the weird sound effects from the show. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I gotta check a video about that. But uh, this is like I said. I'm pretty happy I have this. I gotta figure out a way to display this baby. It, it just looks. It's just. I'm happy. It looks cool. Uh, but yeah. So again, uh, you can get this through AliExpress. I don't know if you can get this through eBay. Uh, um. But yeah, <laughs> you can get this through AliExpress for sure. Uh, I think it looks like a couple of sellers are selling it. Uh, make sure to always look for the seller that has at least a good feedback when it comes to delivery and not issues with shipping and or anything like that. That's why I always try to look for focus. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is Limitless KRGNN signing out. Like I said, keep calm, collecting. Any way to help the channel out, give a thumbs up, give a comment, subscribe. Any way to help the channel out. Yeah. Bye.